Hey everybody, welcome back to What Was Mommy Thinking and another Financial Friday. I know it's been a minute, but I thought we would do a really quick weekly check-in with one another and just see how everybody's doing. And if you're interested in that and see how we did this week, please stick around and let's get started. We got time, but no money, but there ain't nobody stopping us. We got bills. But no dollars. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I have no idea how this video is going to go or if I'm even going to post it. It has been, um, it's been something. And I need to do this for myself and to check in and try and stay close to on track to what's going on with my finances. I haven't looked at my finances in a, in a several days, which is very unusual for me. But I did just get back from grocery pickup and I want to give a huge, huge debt of gratitude and appreciation to Marlene over at Snow Garden 307 and Chrissy over at The Mom Life because they have been um, my rocks over the last couple of days. I mean, of course, outside of my own family, um, giving me a sounding board and letting me vent and letting me say whatever was on my mind, whether it was appropriate or not in my dealing with what's going on with their family, not, not my immediate in my house family, but, um, extended family. So thank you both. I treasure you dearly. Um, and you mean so much. So with that being said, I want to get into this week. And since I just did the pickup, n not even 30 minutes ago, I want to go ahead and make sure I log everything in my Filofax wallet so that I stay on track for my spending this week. And then I need to take categories that I just purchased and transfer that money out of sinking funds into the envelope that goes to the bank. And then I need to put my monthly cash envelopes into my weekly cash envelopes because today's Financial Friday and it's time to transfer. So I'm going to set this one aside and this one aside. And let's get into this first. I like to do my weekly check-in first and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update but first for any of you that it might be new this is a file effect Safiano wallet they come in a ton of colors they're very very functional this is a happy planner skinny mini and you can get them um, super super cheap with coupon codes or on clearance this time of year and they fit perfectly inside of a file effect Safiano this is my actual wallet that goes in my purse Ooh, and I'm going to knock things over yet again. And then these are my weekly cash envelopes. I get paid once a month, and the money for our cash envelopes for the entire month come out of my once a month pay. So what I do to help me maintain better control of what I spend is I divide that by the number of weeks in the month, or I really divide it by four, and um, each Friday I transfer that weekly amount into this and this stays in my wallet, and then my monthly cash envelopes stay here at home so that I don't overspend out of my weekly allocation. So for right now, we're going to skip past my weekly cash envelopes here. And then in the back, when you purchase one of these, it comes with a little calendar. And this is where I track everything. So when you, I'll take this off. When you open up to the month, let me see if I can. Here we go, y'all. Hang on for the Zoom ride. I really suck at the zooming in and zooming out. Okay, so this is where I put who's getting paid on what days. This is the one um, of the two times of the year that we both have a payday on the last day of the month. So that's a sort of great little unicorn there. And then when you get into the weekly view, if you didn't see this on last on my last video, I will post that here in the eye in the sky. But when I spend money, even though it is out of my cash envelopes or sinking funds, I go ahead and track it here and I break it down by category. And that way I know how much I've spent. If I go over any of my categories, that wouldn't be considered a no spend. But um, for the most part, I do have no spends most days of the week. Then at the end of the week, I just have a little table here 
that I put every category that I spent money out of, how much I spent, and then I take the total for the week, and this is the amount of money I spent during the week, and what percentage of my money was in each of these categories. Now, when you guys saw the video, it was on Friday, and this Saturday thing wasn't here, so here's what happened. I forgot to thaw the ham for Easter Sunday, and I forgot to do a couple of other things for Easter Sunday, so I had to buy a ham and a couple of other things, and I also had to buy a couple of items for Easter. So, this little grocery trip on Saturday the 3rd, I had to come back down here and erase my numbers and percentages for these two categories only, and then redo the percentages for all the categories, so, um, and looking and seeing what I was spending in each of those. So then we turn to this week, and we're going to do this week together. I'm going to grab a pen, and... We're going to get started. I can tell you that the majority, well, okay, every day this week, including today, has technically been a no spend day because I didn't spend outside of my um, cash envelopes or sinking funds. However, what I consider helpful for me is to write what I did spend. So today I did a Walmart pickup and I did a Kroger pickup. And I will do my absolute best you guys to do a video about um, what I purchased and how much I spent and everything for you and it'll be one of those where I actually show you my computer screen and show you how I picked what I picked. Um, at Walmart I only spent out of two categories. One was grocery and one was pet. In the grocery category I spent $31.65 and out of the pet category, I spent $25. And that $25 was really like $24 and change, and I rounded up because I don't do change in any other category other than grocery. So I just rounded up, and you'll see that again here with Kroger. So at Kroger, I had the grocery for the week. Then I had sports because there is an event tonight for my son's baseball team and we did like a sign up genius, genius where parents signed up to bring um, part of the refreshments and stuff so I had to buy some things for that. And then household and cosmetics. So, so far... I have spent out of one, two, three, four, five categories. So I'll come down here and I'll write grocery. I'll write pet, sports, household, and cosmetics. So if between now and Monday I spend something out of another category, I still have one line down here, and I'm not going to tally these. Um, well, I am. I actually I am. I'm lying to you. So at Kroger for grocery, I spent $127.30. For sports, I spent $12. They had the big 32-ounce Gatorades for... I want to say 88 cents when you buy eight or more and I needed 12 so that worked out perfectly um, and I got um, some some paper plates so household I spent ten dollars and cosmetic I spent ten dollars so in the never-ending de deodorant saga of teenage boys when I went into the Kroger ad to look and see what was part of the mega event that very same Old Spice deodorant that my two oldest boys have been just absolutely crazy about was part of the buy five save one dollar on each item sale so I got only two this time I got each of them's favorite scent so far and purchased that for them and they are still loving them. So I'm really, really happy about that. All right, so let's get our little calculator here and let's add up what we have in each of our categories. 
So for grocery, can you guys see that? Okay, so for grocery at Walmart, we had $31.65. Then we're going to add that 127.30, and it comes out to $158.95. Sorry, I have to turn this to right. $158.95. Then for pet, it's just the 25 For sports, it was $12. For household, it was $10, and for cosmetics, it was a $10. Okay, so here's what I need to do, and I thought I would show you guys how I do this. I will go through and do my color coding and highlighting um, like you saw on this one. I'll do that off camera. Um, every one of my categories is assigned a color of highlighter. I keep the key for that in my Happy Planner Classic. And let me see if I can find that sheet, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Yep, right here it is. So this is the sheet that I use, and I have all of my categories for all of my sinking funds and cash envelopes. And I use this to remind me what color to use when I do it. So that stays in my planner. And what I need to do is to go into Pet Sports household and cosmetic and pull each of these amounts out and put them in my to the bank envelope. So we're going to set this aside for a minute. We're going to need it again when it's time to move money from my monthly cash envelopes to my weekly cash envelopes. But for right now, I need to go into these two items and pull out the cash that I need and this, these are both, um, let me zoom you guys out. These are both Happy Planner Skinny Classic binders. This one is on expander discs because it houses all of my sinking funds, every single one. Um, this houses my monthly cash envelopes. So there's a few cash envelopes and then a ton of like notes pages. So what I need to do is go in, and I think there's only one in here, so we'll start with that one, and it is cosmetics, and it's right here, and out of cosmetics, we spent $10, so I'm going to pull my card out, and I'm going to see that I have $43, yep, 20, 41, 2, 3, okay, so what I need to do is in my monthly cash envelopes in the very back is my envelope of money to take to the bank. I'm going to pull that out for a minute because I need to make change. So I'm going to be pulling 10 so I'm going to need to get $10 in change out of here. Anytime that I spend money out of a sinking fund and the money needs to go back in the bank I put it in this envelope until I go to the bank. So do I have two tens? I do. So I'm going to take the two tens and put them here, take this 20 and set it back over here and then I'm going to fill out my ledger. I make change first and then I fill out my ledger. So we took out $10 and that's going to leave me with $33. So I'm going to take this 10 and put it aside and we're going to make sure we have 20, 30, 1, 2, and 3. So we'll put this back in cosmetics, and I believe that we are completely done. Everything else should be in my cash envelopes. So I'm going to close this big Mama Gemma up. I'm going to bring this one back over. I'm just going to close up my cash that goes to the bank. I'm going to put it right back in here, and we're going to go ahead and do the other categories. So one of them is pets, and that is this cash envelope here. We're going to take $25 out of this one because I bought two um, boxes of the canned food, so we should have 200 There's 150 200 We're going to be taking out $25. So again, I'm going to have to make change. I should have done that first. So 
I'm going to take a 50 and go back here to my bank envelope. And I know I'm going to need fives, right? So five and five and 20 and 20 for this 50. And I know that 25 of that goes to the bank, so 20. Five of that will go to the bank and the other 25 is going to go back in my putts envelope. So I'm going to stick this in here and we're going to make sure that we have $175. That's what we should have, right? Yeah, $175. $100, $150, $170, $175. Come back up here to pets and put it back away. All right, the very next one that we have to do is our sports, which is right here. In our sports category, we spent $12. It says we should have 108, so 50, 70, 90, 1, 105, 106, 107, 108. And today on 47, we spent $12, so that should leave us $96. Now let's see how we want to do that. We'll take a, do we have, nope, we'll take a 10 and two ones. Set those aside. Let's make sure 50, 70, 90, 95, 96. Nope, wrong envelope. Dum, 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 dum. Oh. I'm surprised I pulled into the right driveway when I got home from the grocery store. Seriously, y'all. All right, let's go ahead and put this money into our to the bank money. Got to go deposit all this money back in the bank. And then after sports, we just have household. And household is right up here behind grocery because I typically use these two categories very closely. And in our household, oh, you know what? I have money in my weekly envelopes left in household. So before I do this, let's grab this little guy. Okay, so grocery, or did I not? No, I did not. Oh, y'all, I'm so appreciative of your patience because I forgot that last week I had already spent it all. So this week, when I go to take where today's date, 4 and 9, I've got my $25 for this week, I can go ahead and take that out on 4 and 9. I can take out $25, and that's going to leave me with 50 right? 20 Five, 45, 50, and they're marked for the weeks that they apply to. And I'm going to stick this back in here. And then I'm going to go to the bank envelope and I'm going to make change because we only spent $10 out of household, right? So I'm going to put the five aside and I'm going to see if I have two tens that I can sub for this. And I do, so we'll do the 20 for the two tens, and then the 10 for household. So this is the money that goes back to the bank, and in my ledger for my weekly, um, I still haven't made a household small budget envelope like this, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in my grocery and put four seven household week two and I'm only going to be adding fifteen dollars because we spent the other ten and I'm gonna put that fifteen in here and I think for right now what I'll do is I'll keep household money behind it and grocery money in front of it until I get an envelope made I just simply haven't had the time or the opportunity so now what we're going to do, now that we've got all of our money switched over that we just spent and our grocery pickups that I just finished up, is we're going to do our weekly transfer of funds from our monthly cash envelopes 
into our weekly cash envelopes. Just like you saw with household, when I pull this out, you're gonna see that week one was already allocated, so we're gonna put four, nine, week two, we're gonna take out 50, and it's going to be a hundred dollars left. 150, 150, so we'll take one away, leaving a hundred. And then we come right down here, and we're going to do, I put four, seven, I don't even know what day it is, y'all. So we're gonna do grocery, week, two, and add 50 and I'm going to keep those two totals separate from one another and maybe draw a little box so that I know because they are different categories so I'm going to put the 50 in the front and the 15 in the back until I get that second envelope made up okay our next category will be we did household already so it's gonna be gasoline. And my gasoline in my weekly, remember how, so here's what I do, y'all, if you're new here. I will fund this envelope until it has enough in it to fill the tank in my car, and then I stop. And then once I use it, I'll go ahead and restuff. And as you can see here, on 4-3, I spent the weekly amount. So on 4-9, I'm going to add week two, and we're gonna add in $30, and that should give us a balance of $30. So, we're gonna open up our gas monthly envelope, and in it should be $90. So we've got 20, 30, 50, 60, 80, 90, and they are tabbed by week, 49, 416, 423. So we're gonna take the one for today, take our little sticky off and that $30 goes with this ledger here and then up here we'll write four nine week two and we're gonna take out $30 and that should leave us $60 so I've got them bundled in groups of 30 20 30 50 60 we are good to go So we'll put this one away, and then we will put this one away in our little gas envelope. All right, so our next category is eating out. Let's see if we actually have anything. Oh my goodness, I actually see a couple singles. Look at that. So it says I should have four dollars. One, two, three, and four. And in our eating out monthly envelope, it says I should have seventy-five dollars. Twenty, five, forty-five, fifty, seventy, seventy-five, and they are tabbed in twenty-five dollar increments. This is today's date. I'll take my little post-it off. And then we're going to add on 4-9, we're going to put week to $25, and that's going to give us $29. So, 25, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. all of that back in my weekly in my wallet I need to quit calling it weekly and just call it my wallet and then here 20 25 45 50 and that's exactly where we should be so let's put week two on four nine minus 25 and that makes this a big 50 all right I'm not going to transfer any money out of my pets category into my cash envelopes right now. I know um, we've still got another vet visit for my smaller dog, my Shih Tzu, but I don't know how much that's going to be, so for right now I'm just going to leave it in here. Allowance is something that we do every Saturday, 
and in my sports envelope I do want to put a little bit of money so what I had decided to do was to take the money that's in this envelope after today's event which is $96 and I thought what I would do was maybe divide this by four even though there's only three more weeks left in the month I thought I would divide it by four so that there was just a little bit of a cushion um, and I think I just got lucky because 108 divided by four yeah they divide evenly so 96 divided by four is $24 per week now I don't necessarily have 20 four dollars here so what I can do is I can either break this five or for this week I could just take 25 so I think that's what I'm gonna do and up here I'll write four nine and we're gonna take out twenty five dollars and we're just gonna put week two because that's kind of what it is and that should leave us with seventy one dollars so fifty seventy one we do have a baseball tournament um, next weekend on the 17th, not this weekend. So this 25, and then if next week, if I only add 23 or whatever I decide, that'll be the money we take with this for anything and everything. If there's um, gate fees or if he needs new tape on his bat or if there is a concession stand or something like that and somebody wants something, um, tolls, anything like that, we can use this money for that. So this 25, I don't keep a ledger in my sports um, wallet, so I'm just going to put this 25 right in here. And it'll be right there when we need it, and I don't worry about it. I don't worry about keeping receipts. I don't really track it because we're usually out and about and on the run, and I just don't. This is like sort of like a, a, a frivolous, fun kind of thing anyway, so we just we just have fun with that one. All right, so that is it for my cash envelopes and the transfer. I thought what we would do since I had my totals on there was that we would take a really quick tally um, back here of what I spent this week. I thought we would look at that together and see what I spent and kind of what my percentages are right now. So at 158.95, 25, oops, 12, 10, and 10. So right now, I've spent $215.95 so far this week. That's a whole lot less than last week, and it's just because of life, you guys. Um, if you are new here, my grocery budget is $250 a week, and even after last week's little boo-boo boo-boo here, I came in at $249.61. So the $50 that I put into my wallet each week, I had to go and put that back into the bank to cover this. So I spent $249.61 on my groceries. So I came in right at the $250 budget. So far this week, I'm about $91 under budget, which makes me super happy. I know that I have one more stop to make, and it's probably going to cost me around, I don't know, maybe $18 or $20. So even if I come in $75 under budget, you guys, I'm so excited because that never happens. And that $75 will go towards something. I'm probably going to put it towards our snowball. So here's praying that <laughs> what I need to pick up this um, tomorrow, and it's really just some specialty gluten-free bread and stuff for my husband and some um, a couple of items for dinner on Sunday that they were out of stock of. So should, again, come in right somewhere around that $18 to $20 mark. I will update these totals and do my percentages as soon as that's done. But other than that, I don't anticipate any other spending for this weekend. And if I can end this week with that, then this is going to be the bright spot in what I've been able to do or accomplish this week because I honestly feel like everything else I've touched this week has turned into a disaster. So um, I want to thank you guys so much for going through this with me and sticking with me. I'm going to edit this video and see if I think that it is okay to post and um, and I'm praying that each and every one of you are having a wonderful week and that your families are healthy and well and that you're together. So with that being said, 
I want you to take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and be well. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.